Montana and we just picked up another load. Oh, I got like four and a half more days and this 30 days is up. If I can get this load delivered and squeeze one more in, I think I can beat the last time I did 30 days and 30,000. I think I can beat that 25 something. I don't remember what the exact numbers are, but it's gonna be close. And, and I'm pretty excited because, I mean, load prices have dropped. I mean, this load that I'm doing right now pays a buck 70. The last one paid a buck 55. So these are the two, the two cheapest loads that I've ever taken since I started to work for Wave. Um, so it's been a little bit of a challenge, but fuel prices, I mean, I have paid some of the lowest fuel prices that I've paid in, in years. Um, and, you know, and, and, and if people keep asking about, you know, are, are people asking and they also tell me that use your Calm Data card. Um, and I, I've actually used the Calm Data a few times now. And I also use my RV, my uh, Techno RV card and the fuel prices are about the same so i mean the techno rv card i mean if you're an rv guy and you don't you don't have a calm data card because you're not actually working as a commercial driver um that other card works just as good too so plus i'm getting my points on my credit card so you know when i have money on the calm data i'll use it but i mean usually i'll just pull them both up now and see what the prices are in that area and if one of them is beating the other one then i'll use that one um but I like to use the other card just so that I can get all of my points on the credit card for my free hotels and everything. So I wanted to, wanted to talk about that a little bit. But what this video is about is this video is about self-dispatch. Okay, now I, I've talked to other people and they, they, they tell me that they can't do this with the other companies. So I don't know. I mean, we're doing it for Wave. I'm assuming that Horizon probably can too because those companies kind of work together on loads and stuff but I could be wrong so um, but what self-dispatching is is so you don't have to call in um, and you can actually you know just click on the load and do it yourself now there's been a lot of things from from the class when I went to the class and what they told me the only thing I remember from the class you had to have 25,000 safety miles so that was always stuck in my head once I have my 25,000 safety miles I could do that okay well I'm past that so a few days ago, I was way past that. I finally wanted to dispatch myself and I clicked on it and it said that I had to have 10 different states. So you have to actually deliver to 10 different states. And, I, and the 25,000 safety miles is what I thought. Well, after talking to the office and stuff today, and then after doing all this stuff, um, I got an email back telling me that I have the 10 states now. And I think it was a it was a misprint because she said that um, the 25,000 was for reloads and the reason I say I think that was a misprint is because when I first started this job my second load I think it was my second or my third load me and Robin went to Oregon or Washington one of the two and then what happened was we wanted to get a load going back to Colorado and, and I know that I didn't have even close to 25,000 miles at that time so what I did is I clicked on it and it let me do it now, I don't know if it let me do it because I was in in that exact area where there was reloads or the information I got today was just wrong, um, that you could do that on reloads right away. Um, it had nothing to do with um, loads out of the Indiana office area. So um, that's the way I'm thinking. So any of the guys out here that watch this video that have already been working for Wave for a long time and you've dispatched your own loads, if you can clarify that in the comments, um, but and what, and what I'm thinking it is, you gotta have 25,000 miles. You gotta have at least 10 states. And there's another thing too, you gotta be within 250 miles of the office, I'm assuming. I mean, I mean that's what I was told, so I'm assuming the office or just close to the Indiana area because all those lots are you know within 35 40 minutes or 50 miles away from each other so um, you know <laughs> maybe that's just the way it is but I mean, that's the way I understand it now. and according to the email that I got now once I can't do it right now because I already got a load but I'll do it on my next load and then let you guys know in the next video if it's finally worked and how it's worked. But um, the reloads, I think you can do them right away. So some of the new guys that are out there that have just started, that use my name and stuff like that, when you're in these other areas, 
go to the load board, the reload board, and it's right next to the other one. Just click on that one and scroll down to a job and then scroll all the way over and see if it lets you tap on it. And if it lets you tap on it, it'll pull up. It'll give you all the information. It'll tell you, can you pick it up today, tomorrow, or the next day? And what day are you delivering it? And just go ahead and click on that stuff. And then when you go all the way down to the bottom, there'll be a little box that you gotta check and then submit. Don't submit because if you do, then within 15 minutes, you're gonna find out if you get that load. And if you're nowhere near it or can't do it, um, then that's not gonna work. But let's say you just come across this video and didn't even know you could do that. I mean, that's all I did when I first started this job. I just went in there, I found the load that I wanted, I scrolled down, I said I'll pick it up tomorrow, and maybe I can deliver it the next day. I clicked on the little box, boom, it said it's processing. Within 15 minutes, you get an email. The email will tell you if you got it or if somebody else beat you to it or something like that. Or sometimes, sometimes I've had a few where I couldn't even do it because they put it into the system wrong and I actually had to call in and then they fixed it so I could get it. So that happens too. But I wanted to talk about that because there's so many people out there tell me, oh, we can't even dispatch our own loads. And I said, well, I know we can after we have a certain amount. So what I've learned so far, you gotta have 25,000 safety miles. And that's the way I understood it because I never needed that for the reload. And the email they sent me made it sound like I needed that for the reload. I never needed that before. So tell me your experience and stuff. Any of the wave guys out there that have done this, if you're a Horizon guy, can you do that stuff? Um, Indiana Transport, I was told that they couldn't do that. They could just do their, their like the reloads type boards. Um, but maybe I was, maybe the person I was talking to was mistaken. So if you guys work for any of these other ones, let me know if you can do that in this video to let the other guys know. Um, now the, the 250 miles, that bothers me because a lot of times, you know, I'm, I'm leaving Colorado, let's say, and I'm heading there. I know I'm gonna get there tomorrow. The load that I want is right there. You know, I can click it, pick it up the next day. I mean, why would it really matter? I mean, as long as I pick it up by Sunday night, because you can call in and get a load dispatched on Friday afternoon. As long as you pick it up Sunday night, that's fine. So you would think that the, you know, self-dispatch would work the same way on the weekends, but she told me today you gotta be within 250 miles of that radius. So any of you guys that have done that, throw that in the comments if that's true, because I'd really like to know. Um, now, normally, I think well, how this would work for you is let's say you weren't you had your trucks getting serviced or you just can't get out of there on Friday you don't want to commit to a load but you wake up Saturday morning you're like well things change plans change all of our plans change I'm gonna run to Indiana and go do a load and you go on there and you see the load you want and 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 you can't click on it so you got to drive there you get all you get within 250 miles of it the load you wanted is gone because one of the other guys watched my video and knows how to do this now but um, you know, that's all right when it's busy season because there's so many different loads. Um, you know, like I'll just grab this one, I'll be there, I'll go up to a far Minnesota or someplace like that that I could deliver first thing Monday morning, come back down and grab another one. That's where I think that self-dispatch is so nice because if you don't take a load on Friday, there's nobody in that office for you to actually dispatch anything Saturday or Sunday. You're waiting until Monday morning. So you drive all the way to Indiana, you sit in a hotel, you get up Monday morning and you go to call in and there's 50 guys calling in and you can't even get in to talk to them because that's what happened to me on this load that I have right now. But for some reason, it fell through. And what I, the reason I'm thinking it fell through is the person realized what they were hauling or they or something happened because I know what this trailer is and I'll show it at the end of the video here. Um, I know what it is, but I, for a buck 70 a mile compared to a buck 35 on the other loads, I'm just gonna do it. And at the end of this video, I'll throw that little part in there of what I'm hauling to Colorado this time and where I'm going. So, um, but I wanted to throw this in. I'm gonna try to get more of what the people are asking question wise. I'll do another video in a few days about permits and stuff. I mean, the reason I've held off on that is I haven't went to all the states, but I've had one of the other drivers that signed up under my name just went to Arizona, and he's told me what he had to do, so I'll, I'll share that information in the next video, but that's where we're at. I just, this self-dispatching, I think, would be awesome. I love the way the reload part of it works because that just works awesome for you. So, you know, like in the summertime, if you're one of the drivers and that's been down in the south and you're living down in that area and you went back home and you could just dispatch a few loads in that area and, and make some more money, um, I've noticed that. I've noticed that in, I've noticed it all over. I mean, this summer they were in Texas, they were in Arizona, they were California, Oregon, um, Washington, Idaho, 
all the southern states, you could dis self dispatch all of those reloads all over the place and keep yourself busy. You're not going to believe how good this thing did. Almost 12 miles per gallon. You know, this job paid like $300 less, but fuel prices are like a dollar a gallon cheaper. And I didn't stay in a hotel, I stayed in the truck, so when it was all said and done, I actually made $140 more than normal. Another funny story is, I bought my first travel trailer from this store 25 years ago. But back then it was called Kettleson Campers, and now it's a camping world, look at that.